the mission continues start my clock 10 minutes right so for those who are not up to speed on what is going on i have a goal right i'm trying to get monetized on youtube so i came up with this plan i'm gonna be bold i'm gonna ask for what i want and believe it's gonna happen yesterday was day one today is day two and by <laughs> sometimes if i'm thinking camille can you really do this i'm asking myself can i really do this 400 days 10 minutes every day i've never done anything like this so it's really gonna be a challenge and you guys are really gonna see me in my element i know i'm gonna have some days when i do not want to do this but i'm gonna push i'm gonna push because i know it's gonna serve a greater good at the end of the day i started out with the idea thinking it, it, it's gonna sound silly dumb stupid but Sometimes the things that seem dumb are things that we need to do to get out of our comfort zone and get to where we really, we really need to be. Because a girl needs money. I need to make some money. Otherwise, from a 9 to 5, I need, some, I need a side hustle lucratively. So, I'm going to stop sitting around and being lazy about YouTube. I've been on and off of YouTube for years. So, I'm going to do this. And guess what? I got some subscribers yesterday. Sometime between yesterday, last night, and now. Right? So now I need 839 subscribers. It was, I think I got around 3 or so. The first video I did, right? Awesome. So now I need 839 subscribers. And I'm going to do this 10 minute video. I have said minutes and 58 seconds gone already, right? And remember, I tell you, I don't necessarily plan this thing all the way out. I'm just going to take something that somebody wise said and break it down, reshare it, and try and make the moment. Even though it's random, I'm going to try and make the best of it. So, someone wise said, when clouds are heavy, the rain comes down. Whether a tree falls north or south it stays where it falls farmers who wait for perfect weather never plant if they watch every cloud they never harvest all right so the first part right when clouds are heavy the rains come down whether a tree falls north or south it stays where it falls so how we break this down what does it really mean well it's stating the obvious that's for sure when cloud every rain fall when tree drop it stay away drop right but it must be saying more than what it seems right so when it talks about the clouds being heavy i'm thinking water cycle i'm thinking order i'm thinking that nature has an order to the way things should go or things should operate and i'm thinking it's connected to the, the 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 statements i shared last night as well where it says send your grain across the sea when the rain falls it's also falling on everything everybody everything good and bad pretty and and not so pretty pretty i'm talking about in spirit now on the inside you know it falls on everybody so just like how the rain cycles it's like a water cycle you know the sun shines it evaporates the water from the sea and it goes up as a gas it goes up light and then by the time it reaches into the atmosphere where the clouds are it cools and it forms these water molecules and they come together and they form a cloud and when there's too many water molecules in a cloud it gets heavy and then it just bursts and it comes right back down as rain and that same water in the sea that same water on the road wherever it just evaporates again and goes back up so i'm thinking it could mean similarly to what i was talking about last night because it was the same wise man who said it in the sense where when we get something when we are when we are um 
blessed to be able to have something in hand right and we take it and we share it we give it we spread it across the sea spread it to as many people as possible in some order in some order that the creator created for things to be it comes back to us with profit right just like how it's not gonna just you're not gonna just gonna keep sending stuff water is not just gonna keep evaporating evaporating and it just stays up there it's gonna come back down so just i'm thinking it means the same thing in terms of giving the more we give the more we give we're gonna get it back sometime in some way or the other giving is never in vain that's what i'm getting from that one part about when the clouds are heavy, the rain's going to come down. Giving is not in vain. Once you keep giving, it's going to do what it has to do. Prof the profits are going to come back flowing right to you, right? Whether a tree falls north or south, it, it stays where it falls. I'm thinking that could simply mean we're all going back to the dust. We're all going to die. We're all going to go back to the dirt from whence we came. We were formed from the dust of the earth. Man was formed that way and women were taken from the ribs of a man. But we all die and go back to the ground. So I'm thinking like a tree, we come up as babies, we grow as seeds. You know, we add on, we build, we mature, we grow and we keep going up and up and up like a tree. But it comes a time when that tree's lifetime ends and it starts to wither, it starts to bend, it starts going down. And in that sense... Is gonna fall to the ground so whether it falls this way or it falls that way this way or that way anywhere it falls north south east or west it's gonna fall right so I think that it could be a message of humbling us it could be saying hey stay humble stay humble because all trees die and when they fall when they go they all go down they don't die going up they all go down so I think it's a lesson to stay humble. And then the other part about farmers who wait for perfect weather, never plant. If they watch every cloud, they never harvest. It's, go, it's going back into to, to seeds now. It's going back into grains. It's going back into nature. Farmer is somebody who is a preserver of the earth. It's somebody who put things into the ground and they have the, the, the what do you want to call it? They're smart enough or they have the green thumb to know how long something takes to, to, to reap and how to nourish the, the, the soil and all those things that have to do with farming, right? So, consider yourself a farmer and consider yourself somebody who is thinking of ways to reproduce something. Think of yourself as somebody who should be putting seeds into your ground, watering them and waiting for them to flourish, for them to grow. Think of yourself as someone with a gift, with a talent, someone who has something to give and you're probably holding on to it for too long. You're probably saying you're shy. You're probably saying it's not the right time. You're probably saying you have no help. You're probably saying a lot of excuses as to why you have not or you can't use what you have this is saying if you wait for the perfect weather the perfect situation the perfect circumstance you may never do it right if you watch every cloud you never harvest because you know certain plants can't manage too much water so if you watch every cloud and look for it, you're trying to predict every time the rain's gonna fall. You're trying to follow um somebody who can you think you think can probably tell you what's gonna happen. You're trying to follow the weather forecaster, people who say say they know the future. And you're trying you and you have all this anxiety and you're trying to figure out when, how, with who, with how much money, you know, where are the resources, how am I gonna do this? And it's been years. I think this is saying don't wait any longer don't wait any longer you know what i can share that from experience the the ideas i've had i've had so many ideas about things or business or, or, or plans or things that could 
whether it be food a business and anytime I put aside the shyness the 10 minutes is up okay I made it to 10 minutes as I was saying if you are if not not if you are but we all have something to give back to the world we all have something to give back to someone and some of us are sitting on it sitting on our dreams sitting on our gifts and we're waiting on things that are never gonna change when all we need to do is step out so i was saying that the times when i've chosen to step out take a chance on myself believe in myself and try put aside all the negative thoughts and focus on just positive thoughts what happened is that where I did not see the answer, I started to see answers coming. Where I did not see anybody to support me, the people who had the ability to support me, it's like it was a magnet. And when I started moving and working, it's like where their backs may have been turned or where it seemed like they weren't seeing, they have turned to me and they automatically start coming towards me and they're like, hey, you need help? Oh, that's what you're trying to do I can help you or I can I can contribute this I can do that you know and then little by little there's always if I stick to it which is something that I need to work on too if I stay consistent I know and I have seen where there's always somebody to come and give me an encouraging word there's always somebody who has who is coming to help where I didn't see the help before so that's what I think this this wise saying this is how i think this wise saying can be applied practically and that's it we do 10 10 minutes and a little bit that's not three bad don't <laughs> all right so thank you for subscribing and watching this to the end i'm out